Now, we are going to discuss the different types of chemical reaction. Pag sinabi natin na chemical reaction, nagkakaroon tayo ng changes physically and chemically. We have already discussed the changes that will happen to sodium when it is combined with chlorine to form sodium chloride. So, sodium and chlorine in their element form, both are a danger to the health of humans. Samantalang kapag sila ay nagkaroon na ng chemical reaction in the form of sodium chloride, nakaproduce sila ng substance sa kung saan necessary to all life. Now, there are actually eight types of chemical reaction. However, in this video, we are going to discuss synthesis, analysis, substitution, metathesis, and combustion reaction only. Uh, the other chemical reactions such as acid-base reaction or neutralization, hydrolysis, and redox reaction, and also the special cases ng synthesis and analysis reaction will be discussed in another video kung sakaling kakailanganin pa. Now, just a heads up, we, the following examples that we're going to use, the examples are assuming that all reactions took place without regards to the reactivity series. So, we are going to assume na lahat ng mga example na ibibigay ko dito sa video ay, nag, ay nangyari nga at hindi natin titignan yung ating reactivity series kasi kailangan yun talaga in the actual discussion of the different types of chemical reaction. So, unahin na natin yung number one which is synthesis reaction. Now, our synthesis reaction Ibig sabihin yan, we are going to have different substances to combine a single product. So, synthesis meaning putting together something. So, to give an example, it can be represented as A reacting with B to form A, B. So, naghalo lang sila, nagcombine lang sila, hindi po nagkaroon ng panibagong uh, element or panibagong substance. So, for example, we have Na combining with chlorine to produce NaCl. So, si Na, bago natin sila mapag-combine, ang titignan na lang natin muna ay ang kanilang charges. Si Na, na sa number 11 sa periodic table, ang kanyang charge ay positive 1. Si chlorine naman, Remember, chlorine is a diatomic element, so sinulat siya as an element, kaya dapat laging may 2. Kasi, isa siyang diatomic element. It is con uh, conforming with the laws of nature. Si chlorine naman, number 17 sa periodic table, ang kanyang charge ay negative 1. So kapag nag-combine sila, yung 1 ni sodium ay mapupunta kay chlorine, at yung one naman, negative 1 naman ni chlorine ay mapupunta kay Sodium. Since padaw silang 1, it will be cancelled. So, NaCl. So, that is how you do synthesis reaction. Combining different reactants to form a single product. So, ngayon naman, what's what will be left is your balancing. So, ganyan para magkaroon tayo ng balanced chemical equation. Another example, let us have magnesium plus Fluorine. Okay, remember, si fluorine ay isa, isa ding diatomic element, so maglagay ng 2. Bago mo sila mapag-combine, tignan mo muna ang kanilang charges. So, si magnesium number 12 sa periodic table, ang kanyang charge ay positive 2. Si fluorine naman, number 9 sa periodic table, ang kanyang charge ay negative 1. So, kapag magkakombine sila, magkakross sila ng charges. So, yung 2 ni magnesium mapupunta kay fluorine. Yung 1 ni fluorine mapupunta kay magnesium. Always remember na sa pagsusulat ng product, lagi mauuna ang positive kesa sa negative. So, mauna si magnesium. Ang bilang ng magnesium ay 1 kasi 1 yung kay fluorine. So, wala tayong isusulat dyan for it to be considered as 1. Next naman si fluorine. Kukunin niya yung 2 kay magnesium, so maglalagay ng MgF2. Now, what's left is the balancing. But, in but it turns out that in this example, balance na ang ating chemical equation. Another example for synthesis reaction, let us have aluminum plus oxygen. 
So, oxygen is also a diatomic element. So, kailangan natin maglagay ng 2 as a subscript of oxygen. So, bago tayo mag-combine, alamin muna natin ang mga charges. So, for aluminum, number 13 sa predictable, ang charge niya ay positive 3. Si oxygen naman, ang kanyang charge ay negative 2. Number 8 sa predictable. For them to react with each other, mag-exchange sila ng charges. So, yung si Al, ang kukunin niya ngayon ay yung 2 ni oxygen. So, magiging Al2. Si oxygen naman, ang kukunin naman ni oxygen ay yung 3 ni aluminum. So, it will become Al2O3. So, that is how we combine substances to form only one product. Now, laging tatandaan sa ating balancing chemical equation at types of chemical reaction, kailangan natin alamin ang kanilang charges. Another example, let us have set, um, cesium plus phosphorus. Now, all of them are written as an element, si cesium tapos si phosphorus, pero hindi sila diatomic element, so ganyan lang sila. Now, before we combine them, alamin muna natin ang kanilang charges. So, cesium number 55, so predictable, it is positive 1. Si phosphorus number 15, so predictable, so negative 3. So, si cesium, kukunin niya yung 3. So, CS, kukunin niya yung 3 ni phosphorus. Next, si phosphorus naman, kukunin niya yung 1 ni cesium. So, it will become cs 3 P. So that is your synthesis reaction. We're just going to combine the substances to produce only one product. Kung ganyan ang synthesis reaction or combination reaction, iba naman sa analysis or decomposition reaction. Now when we say decomposition reaction, or analysis, Kapag decomposition or analysis reaction, isang reactant, multiple products. So, ang nangyayari dito ay magiging mas may iksi or mas magiging simple yung mga product natin. So, for example, meron tayong substance na AB. Pagkatapos niya magkaroon ng chemical reaction, magiging A plus B na lang siya. So, separate yung ating mga substances. So, this is actually the exact opposite of combination or synthesis reaction. So, for example, let us have Mg. Oh, nga pala, sorry. We forgot to balance the chemical equation. But anyway, feeling ko alam nyo naman, mag, ma, alam nyo naman na mag-balance the chemical equation. So, dito, sa ating example, si aluminum plus oxygen to produce aluminum oxide, gamitin natin yung ating odd-even method. So, tumingin tayo, feeling ko mas madali si oxygen. So, si oxygen, dito si reactant, dalawa. So, product, tatlo. So, in order for us to balance this quickly, lahat ng mga odd numbers, yung mga 1, 3, 5, 7, yung mga hindi divisible by 2, ay gawin natin even number. So, 3 dito, the number, the lowest number that we can uh, multiply 3 to make it an even number is 2. So, naglagay tayo ng 2 dito, si 2 i-multiply yan sa lahat, di ba? So, the number of oxygen will become 6. Ngayon naman si oxygen dito sa reactant may 2. What number can we multiply by 2 in order, in order for us to get 6? We're going to put 3. Next, si aluminum. Si aluminum naman ay 4 kasi 2 times 2 is 4. Si aluminum dito ay nag-iisa kaya we're going to add Four. So that is how we balance aluminum oxide reaction. Ngayon naman kay cesium phosphide. Si cesium dito ay tatlo, dito iisa, kaya maglagay ng tatlo. Si phosphorus naman, isa dito, isa din dito kaya balance. Okay, going back to the composition reaction. For example, we have MgO. Mm, So, dito naman, sa decomposition reaction, 
we are going to separate our substances. Now, magnesium oxide, simple lang, magnesium at oxygen. Paghihiwalayin lang natin yung magnesium tapos yung oxygen. So, write down magnesium and then plus oxygen. However, remember that oxygen written as an element must always have 2 as its subscript because it is a diatomic element. Ngayon naman, we're going to balance it. Dalawa sa product, isa lang sa reactant. So, let's put 2 sa reactant. By putting 2 na multiply yung magnesium, maglalagay din tayo ng 2. Now, on the succeeding, uh, succeeding examples, ilalagay ko na lang yung balance chemical, uh, chemical equation. Another example, let us have um, hmm, Na2S. Okay. So, this is Na2S. I-separate lang natin. Magiging Na plus sulfur. Yun nga lang dito sa maglagay tayo ng 2 to make it balanced. Another example sa decomposition reaction, let us have H2O or water. Now, water can be uh, water can undergo electrolysis to be separated as hydrogen and oxygen. However, hydrogen is a diatomic element so, maglagay ng 2 and oxygen is also a diatomic element. So, maglagay din ng 2. Okay. So, that is your decomposition or analysis reaction. We're going to take one, pro uh, one substance and then we're going to break it down to its individual elements. Now, there are special cases sa synthesis tapos sa decomposition reaction kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina. Uh, bawat, bawat isa, like for example, sa synthesis reaction, meron siyang four special cases. Ganun din sa decomposition, meron siyang four special cases. However, we are going to discuss that in another video if kailangan pa. Now, let's go to number three, which is your single displacement. Or otherwise known as your meta uh, substitution. Sorry. Nasanay kasi ako sa single displacement lang simula high school to college. Or substitution. Now, in this case, sa single displacement or sa substitution reaction, meron lang tayong isang element na mapapalitan sa isang substance. So, for example, dito, si A and B plus C magiging now, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina kadalasan naging kadalasan not, na usually pero laging nauuna ang positively charged kesa sa negatively charged kapag sinusulat so in this case it is assumed that A is positive and B is negative now, so for example na si C ay positive what will happen is C which is positive, will replace the positive in the other substance. So, magiging CB plus A. Bakit naging CB? Remember that in writing a chemical uh, chemical reaction or in writing chemical formula, lagi nauuna ang positive kaysa sa negative. So, since si C yung positive, lagi siya mauna kaysa sa dun sa negative. No, ang, ang mangyayari dito is, so for example, si substance na si AB. Kapag ikaw ay nag-introduce ng substance na mas mataas pa ang reactivity or mas reactive siya kesa sa doon sa isa sa mga substances, ang mangyayari is papalitan niya. So in this case, si A tapos si B, si positive tapos si negative, ay may inintroduce ka na isang substance. Inintroduce mo si C. At it turns out na si C na positive din ang charge, ay mas reactive pa kesa sa doon sa positive doon sa kabila. So, since mas reactive pa ito kesa doon sa kabila, papalitan niya yung, kap yung kapalahon niya ng sign. So, for example, nandiyo dito si Gerald at si Bea. So, Gerald, Bea. Tapos, it turns out 
na di ba si Gerald to si Bea? For example, mag-on sila. Si Gerald ay yung lalaki so positively charged. Si Bea yung babae kaya negatively charged. Yun naman biglang dumaan si... Anong pangalan niya? Hindi ko maalala. Gretchen? Um, o oh, sige. For example, dumaan si Kiray. Ngayon naman, si Gerald na lalaki kaya positive, si Bea na babae kaya negative. Ngayon naman biglang dumaan si Kiray sa harapan nila at it turns out na si Kiray ay mas maapil, mas charming siya kaysa kay Bea. So, si Kiray babae kaya negative. Ngayon naman si Kiray, papalitan niya si Bea. Ipagpapalit ni Gerald si Bea kay Kiray kasi mas mataas ang charm Mas charming si Kiray, mas mataas ang alindog ni Kiray, kaya iiwan niya si Bea. So, magiging Gerald Kiray at mawawala si Bea. So, remember, si Gerald ang nauna sa pangalan kasi siya yung positive. Lagi nauna ang pangalan ng positive kaysa sa negative. So, can you see what happened? Si, nung dating si Gerald Bea, Tapos biglang sumama si Kiray. Si Kiray ay mas reactive pa kaysa kay Bea. So, pinilitan ni Kiray si Bea. So, naging Gerald Kiray plus Bea. So, paano naman kapag Gerald Bea? Tapos, sumama si... Sino kaya? Onyok. I have no idea who Onyok is. So, si Gerald yung lalaki, positive. Si Bea yung babae, kaya negative. Tapos, si Onyo yung lalaki, positive. Now, for example, si Gerald to si Bea, magkasama sila. Tapos, nagkataon na dumaan si Onyo sa harapan nila. Si Onyo, positively charged, lalaki, ay mas mataas pa ang kanyang reactivity kaysa kay Gerald. So, si Onyo na mas mataas ang reactivity kaysa kay Gerald, ay papalitan niya si Gerald. So, magiging Onyo, Bea, Plus, Gerald. So, ganun ang nangyayari sa single displacement reaction or sa substitution, substitution reaction. Yung mas ma-reactive na substance na introduce, papalit siya doon sa less reactive na substance na magkasama. So, for example, let us have HCl plus zinc. Okay. So, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, Kadalasan, positive yung nauna. So, si H yung positive. Anong charge ni H? 1. Si green naman, negative. Tapos si zinc, ang charge niya, number 30 sa predictable ay positive 2. So, mas reactive na, na si zinc ay mas reactive kaysa kay hydrogen. So, what will happen is, zinc will now replace hydrogen. So, since positive si zinc, mauna siya. So, zinc... So, 